Today we're looking, taking a quick look at aircraft brakes. The function of the brakes is to slow down the airplane by converting kinetic energy into heat. Heat through uh, friction. We'll start with a small airplane example. This, is re this setup here is very similar to a car where you have one disc, a rotor, and a caliper. The caliper has the brake pads just like in your car. You have one disc, the caliper, the caliper has the pads. The wheel spins, spinning the rotor with it. When you apply the brakes, you apply the brakes, you're pushing fluid from your master cylinder down to the calipers. The calipers Squeeze the rotor, creating friction with the pad, creating heat, converting your car's kinetic energy to heat. In the airplane, is exactly the same thing. But on smaller airplanes, this setup is enough to convert the kinetic energy of a light aircraft into heat. That's why the setup is similar to a car. You have one rotor, one, one disc, the caliper, and the pads and that's sufficient to generate enough heat to convert, to convert the kinetic energy of a light aircraft into heat. When you move into much heavier, much, much heavier aircrafts, you need to generate a lot more heat, convert a lot more kinetic energy into heat. The way they do that is by multiplying that same setup times 100, times a few times. For example, if you have this caliper here that covers one section of your disc, of your rotor, if you were to multiply, complete that circle and have a full circle caliper, that's what you have here. This caliper here is the equivalent to that caliper there, but orders of magnitude bigger. This is a multi-piston caliper. Each one of these would be a piston on a solid caliper. Here you have the setup of discs and pads. In that setup you have one single rotor and two pads, one on either side. In here you have a disc, pad, disc, pad, disc, pad, and so on and so forth, alternating disc and pad. Discs rotors and friction material the pads the pads are also full full circle full round pads to go along with the full round caliper the way this works is the discs in this particular example the discs are indexed they're locked into the hub this is locked into the axle on the main the, the, on the landing gear this does not spin the discs do not spin. They stay locked in with the aircraft on those grooves. Now it cannot rotate this way but it is free to move in and out. They all are. They're all floating. The pads or the friction material or friction discs however do spin. These can rotate and they do. These are indexed to the wheel. The wheel, you see these notches on the wheel? Those notches line up to these fingers here on the friction pads. So as the wheel and tire touch the runway and they start spinning around, they take the friction discs along with it and they start spinning. When you apply the brakes, the pistons from, from the caliper squeeze this whole sandwich together creating friction between the pads and the discs, multiplied times the number of discs and pads that you have. So all these, all these fingers would have to be indexed, lined up, so that you can get the wheel and slide it over that. So now the friction material is locked to the wheel and they spin with the tire when, whenever you land and the discs stay locked with the airplane. So there's your 
In that case over there, the wheel spins, the rotor spin, the caliper and the pads stay together, stay fixed. In this case, friction material or the pads spin with the wheel. So you can see how much more surface you have generating heat in this setup versus that setup. Light aircraft, very, very heavy aircraft. Right? Like always, I hope that makes sense. I hope you found it interesting. Uh, any questions, hit me up in the comments. See you guys next time.